Welcome to my video of our recent long weekend on the Norfolk Broads on a Barnes Brinkcraft Quartet class boat. I put this together for you as there were no decent videos on YouTube that showed much of this type of boat, so this might help you see what it's like and get an idea of the cabin size and layer of the boat. I don't know why in this day and age Barnes don't have their own video walkarounds for the boats on their website to help people to see what they're going to get when they hire a boat, uh, as that might be a real benefit for them. Um, most of this is our holiday video featuring me, my wife Kim, my sister Barbara, whose birthday we were celebrating, and her partner Mark. Uh, he's the only one of us that had previous boating experience uh, on the holiday. There's not a lot of commentary, but I've done a walkthrough of the cabins and facilities about 12 minutes into this video, if you want to have a look at that. Um, the boat that uh, you can see pulling out of dock here is also a quartet class boat that was going out at the same time as us. Uh, hopefully this will help you to decide whether you want to hire one of these boats for yourself. Um, anyway, enjoy the video. So this is us then on Quartet 3. Where's, where's the scullery maid? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just trying to. <laughs> Wave. It's enough. freezing, look. English summertime. Here we are on Quartet 3. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> Cheers. A vast behind. A vast to Roxon, it's about three degrees. Oh yeah, we're going somewhere else. Going to Hornin. Hello, hello. We have more at the new inn. Yes. The master. One down. What's that? Oh, one down. One down, ten to go. The first night we booked a mooring at the New Inn in Horning and ate there. I had a very nice steak for dinner. We had breakfast there the following morning, which was really nice too. Um, the staff were all very helpful and friendly as well, so I can definitely recommend this place. Right. Early back to the boat. Games. Day two, Oates left the tent, and here we have the crew. Evidence that I am a domesticated woman, yeah. as I'm the one cleaning. Yeah. The wine glass, though, <laughs> for later use. Where's the bin? Bin's 
Oh, we've been everywhere. Where have you been? <laughs> Does anyone want anything? No, thank you. Sandy, our entertainment secretary. He's lived down How there. <laughs> this is at least this is quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah.
right. Do you think it's worth waking her up? Nah. No, we would sit in the morning, won't we, when we come back through? She won't want to come out in the car. I'll show her the video. Yeah, she won't want to come out. Uh, stand on that towel, and Nicely done, Mark. Very nicely done. I think we'd have cleared that with the roof up, wouldn't we? Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Bathrooms. Not yeah, it's costing a few grand up the top. Yeah. So, as promised, this is my video walk around of the cabins. We start in the main cabin at the back of the boat, which is quite spacious comparatively, um, with a decent sized double bed. Um, and most importantly, uh, and please ignore the dodgy sailor's hat that I forgot that I was wearing while I was making this video. Um, it has a usable bathroom that you can stand up in and have a proper shower in. Um, although the sink is not easy to use because it's kind of tucked under the side of the boat. So uh, it's difficult to try and get your your face in there um but yeah this is this 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 bathroom actually isn't too bad by contrast the cabin at the front of the boat is quite small and you have to bend over to get in the bathroom i'm only five foot six and i found it really uncomfortable to use apart from when sitting on the toilet the shower is unusable as well as it would just soak everything in the bathroom if you tried to use it This is the lounge deck with kitchen, which is okay. Having a couple of small fridges, a microwave, a decent sink and a kettle. The seating area is quite comfortable. Um, it's got a small TV, which was good enough for us to watch the Eurovision final on after a bit of aerial adjustment. Um, we did all agree though that it could possibly have done with another chair uh, for the other side of the table though, just so you can sit around the table rather than all being on one side. We will now add the points of the audience vote. Yes, you start you with the country the with the fewest points, points on the juries. And this year, that is Germany. And we will go what off in order so until we reach the current, the okay. country what currently in the lead. So of course, I do remember. Huh? Okay. 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 okay, here we go. I'm hovering. I can't sit anymore. Sweden! I'm standing. Okay. The public has given you 200.
Wow, that's actually got a mooring inside the house. That. I'm impressed. I'm, I really am. And who is it? Seasoned crew. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Did you? have to lay down then, because I'm going to knock you over. Actually, it's not cold. We could leave this down. Should we leave it down for the rest of the day? Yeah. It's going to be tight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be just about, I think. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
guaranteed to get somewhere in there. No, we're not going all the way into that boat yard. We're just going to moor up somewhere. Or it brings us somewhere easy. I'm not doing that going back in backwards tight for that bloke where we were. We're just going to park it. It's their boat yard. Maybe you can. Still do it. You can. So we rounded out our trip with a very nice meal at the Wroxham Hotel. Um, we stayed in Wroxham overnight because uh, the boat yard, you have to return the boat by 9am in the morning. So it didn't make sense to stay anywhere else. Um, but uh, apart from the weather, we had a very good trip. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.